Hello everybody, Donk Puncher here with a different type of episode that I normally have. Uh, this one is basically, I get a lot of people that ask me how I record, um, what do I record with, what software do I use, and how do I upload videos onto YouTube. And I've tried to help out a lot of people, but I wanted to make a video so I can just kind of send them the link to the video, have them watch it, and help them out that way. Um, I don't have a lot of time, so when I first started recording videos, I was using different types of software. and Basically, it was uh, I always use Fraps. That's the first one I'm going to show. But uh, compressing videos, editing videos, it would take forever to do, and then to upload them onto YouTube, it would take even longer. So if I even made a, a five, ten minute video, it could take maybe two hours to uh, from the start of recording to uploading onto YouTube. It would just take forever. So I've tried to um, find software that I can do it a lot quicker. If I want to do a quick update of Minecraft, or if I want to do a mod video. I can get it up onto YouTube fairly quick now. So basically what I do, I use Fraps. Um, and when I record, um, oh, I guess first off, my this, the computer I have, I have an Alienware gaming laptop. So I do play it on a laptop, but it is Alienware. It is all decked out. Um, I have tons of memory. It's a very fast computer. Um, I have a lot of storage space also, so which helps me to record. Um, so in Fraps right here, when you go to the movie screen, um, I always record in full size, and I'll show you what that does in a second. Um, I record in 30 FPS, um, record Windows 7 sound, and in stereo always. If you don't have a lot of storage space on your computer, you can record at half size, which will cut the file sizes in half, but I record at full size. Um, if you don't have a lot of room also, you can still record in full size and then compress it right away, and I'll show you what I use for both of those. So that's basically Fraps. Um, I'm actually not using Fraps right now to record this video. I'm using Camtasia because I'm going uh, recording off my desktop. Um, but uh, this, I always use Fraps other than this video and I think one other video. I was having a problem with one of the snapshots for Minecraft. It wasn't uh, letting me use Fraps, so I used Camtasia, which is still very easy to use. But those are the settings I use for Fraps. Um, when I record in full screen, I get videos like this. So I recorded and I need to compress this together. This is one of my uh, uh, MAPC Generators episodes. And one, let's see, this clip right here is a minute 44 and it's 1.2 gigs. There's, I believe, nine videos here. Yeah, nine videos. It's almost 11 minutes long and it is almost 11 gigs. So that's huge. If you're recording an hour, it's, I mean, multiple. I've recorded and I've had like 250 gigs before. Um, but if you want to record a short video like this, even though the file size is huge, uh, you can compress it really quick. So it, the quality of these videos are really good and I always want to upload into uh, HD. So if I uh, drag these on over to my Freemake video converter and this is a, an excellent, it's free, it's excellent program to use software. Um, I've told a few people to use it and they love it. So when I put all of my files in there, um, as you can see, let me scroll to the top, you can scroll um, up and down and I have all my nine videos in there. So when you upload to YouTube, back in the day I used to upload like an AVI file or a WMV file and it would just take a long, long time. So YouTube loves to do it in MP4. They love to upload videos in MP4. So I always convert all my videos into MP4. Before I do that, um, I use this and I use another program for editing. When I, I, you can use Freemake and make quick, fast edits. Um, and I use Vegas Studio also. I know people use Adobe. Adobe's a lot better. Um, I'm not going to show you how, to, how I use this because this is a little more in depth. I've gone on YouTube, searched up videos, and I've learned a lot on there. If, if I do major editing, cut up of these videos, um, add in tracks, I always use my Vegas uh, Movie Studio. Uh, but just for this video, I am going to show you really quick on how to edit and cut down videos. It's very easy to do. This program, Freemake, is so easy to use. So let's say in this first video, um, I recorded or I didn't maybe stop recording in time and at the end I want to edit out the end. Um, I can go down to the very, very end of this video clip and where it says cutting here, I can go to start selection and you can see there's a little blue line right there and I can go to, let's say I just want to go down to the end once it comes in, I can go to selection end, hit selection end, and as you can see, there's highlighted area. If that's the part I do not want, I can just hit the scissors right here to cut selection. I'm not going to cut it because I, I want to keep this whole video. 
but uh, I can cut it. That will be out. I hit OK, and that part of that video um, and that little blue section will be gone. Um, I don't want to cut that out. So I've put all these files in here, and again, these nine video files are almost 11 gigs, way too big to upload. It would take forever to upload onto YouTube. I don't even know if you can upload that big. So when I put all the files in here, and I have them in order of how I want them, I put join files. If you don't do join files, it'll compress each video um, by itself. So you'll have nine compressed videos. But if you join files, you'll have one compressed um, video. So I go to convert, you go to MP4, and right away this is the screen that pops up. So I always compress into HD 1080. You can also do uh, 720, but I always do 1080. It comes out good. Uh, when I upload it to YouTube. So those nine files I have are almost 11 gigs. When I compress this, it's going to go down to 340 megabytes. Uh, very small. This this program, FreeMake, compresses awesome. Um, gets these files down. And so if you don't have a lot of space, you can just convert the, all the files down right away. And the quality stays the same. When you upload it to YouTube, you can see my videos. They're all in HD, and they're always really good. So this is the... Um, also, this file setting is H dot two six four dot aac size up to 1920 to 1080 you can make it smaller but i like using this one I th i'm not sure if uh um youtube i think they only really take that quality the 720 but i always just upload to that one i haven't had an issue and then when i hit convert i'm not going to do it right now it takes about uh it could take 10 to 15 minutes to compress files down if i usually do anywhere from like five minute videos to 30 minute videos and it could take a little while but uh, I, I save them onto my desktop and they're basically ready to go after that. Um, yeah, so that 11 gig file will go down to 340 megabytes and it uploads onto YouTube fairly fast. So anyway, I hope this uh, video helped you out. It's very quick and easy. I only really use, uh, other, than, uh, other than Fraps, I just use FreeMake and I can edit these videos and compress them down quick and yeah, put them on YouTube. So uh, if you guys have any more questions, maybe I'll do another video. Uh, but hopefully this will help you guys out and hope you like the video. And if you do, like and please subscribe.